Secret secrets are no fun and they hurt someone. Whether you heard that during an episode of The Office or, you know, just around the schoolyard. Hey, hey Brad, secret secrets hurt someone. <laughs> the big secret is that Congress has reinstated the mortgage insurance tax deduction that had originally expired in 2017. So, that's the big secret that home buyers are very much familiar with right now. Sounds kind of fancy. So why does it actually matter though? Because Chase, don't be so naive. For one, it makes it easier for buyers to plan a home purchase with clear cut tax deductibility rules. And two, it lowers the cost of home ownership for new buyers and refi customers. <gasps> yeah, I know it sounds nice, right? So if you're doing one of your fun lunch and learns and you're looking for hot content to make for your social media, boom. Take advantage of your tax deductible mortgage insurance. Mark Fleming and Company, otherwise known as First American, are well known in the housing space for their innovative potential home sales model. In the final month of 2019, that housing market potential model saw a 1.7% increase from the previous month, thanks to low rates. Not really surprising. I mean, when mortgage rates are low, home affordability is increased. And if affordability increases, more people buy more homes. Boom. But Mark Fleming went a little further and asked, what happens when low mortgage rates continue? Down the rabbit hole we go. Thanks, Alice. Too much of a good thing can make you fat, lazy, downright annoying, or make you stay put. See, prolonged mortgage rates make it tough for people to want to sell their home if they already have a low mortgage rate. That's sort of what's actually happening right now. I mean, the 30-year fix has floated like under 5% since the Great Recession. That's like over 10 years. So the only way existing homeowners can increase their house buying power is through household income growth. Now, that of course makes total sense on paper, but it doesn't really reflect what's actually happening in America, so don't get too discouraged. Remember, older folks want to downsize and millennials are getting really tired of renting. Uh, but you can clearly see how prolonged low mortgage rates could be contributing to the available housing inventory problem. 